It's Stevie. And Suzanne. <clears throat> Where were we? You know, we met in college at the University of North Texas where we were both studying radio TV film and we were both participating in the nightly newscast to get credit for school. And basically it went a little something like this. Yeah, we can still do it. I still yeah. got it. You still got it? I still got it. Hi, and thanks for joining us on NTTV Nightly News. I'm Steve Hendricks. And I'm Suzanne Hendricks. In other news, a cat was ran over by a car just outside their house. Whose house? They don't know. It remains to be seen. Back to you, Suzanne. Thank you, Stevie. And now, breaking news when we come back. <laughs> <laughs> it went a little something, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we ain't having no babies because I ain't trying to have no babies because we just got married, so I'm trying to live my life. You know what I'm saying? We want four. I love children, but just not right now. Well, probably in the next three years so that I... I feel like I'm a giant child still. Woo! And we want to adopt one, so five. You know, I would love to go on a hot air balloon because I'm actually afraid of, of hot air balloons. You just said you didn't want to go on a hot air balloon Be like a month ago. I feel like it's a really good bucket list that challenge is like kind of getting over my fear with my significant other. You know what's on my bucket list? What? I've always wanted to <coughs> fly a plane. Ooh, fun fact. It's on my bucket list. One day Why I'm by yourself? A... You said by yourself. One day I'm going to have she a... She said together. Let me answer that question like this. <laughs> Yes, I was. <laughs> the face of a homeschool that's, child. That's really all I have to say. I was, you know... Well, actually, tell me this, why you were homeschooled. Like, I was homeschooled because I was just... I wanted to be. I didn't want to go to school. Who wants to go to school? My parents like, you can go to middle school, you can be homeschooled and chill in your PJs all day and eat homemade food and chill with the dog. And I was like, I'm going to stay home. And basically, social life went here. Creativity went way up. So I know that's why I'm weird, but <laughs> you are weird. Ryan Gosling was homeschooled too. Shout out to Ryan Gosling because we know you watch our YouTube. Next president's gonna be a guy who's homeschooled. Saz is a G. Mm. There's a lot of girls out there, and y'all know who you are. <laughs> you trifling, and you ain't loyal. Who are you talking to? And you shopping on the low low for a homie when you got one. You feel me? But I know none of those girls are watching this video because I only know that Suzanne's fan. They're awesome too. Yay. Thanks, babe. I appreciate that. You know what I love about Stevie? He always puts other people before himself. And that's something that I really admire about him. Like, he's all about acts of service. And he it's hard to find that nowadays, you know? And I'm just extremely blessed. Wow, now that's a deep question. Um, but to be straight up, Jesus means everything to me. Uh, I grew up a Christian, so I kind of had spoon fed to me for, you know, my whole life. And then I, you know, I got to like college and stuff and I got to kind of, you know, decide for myself what I believed and, uh, you know, just went through some different stuff in my life and I've come to find that, you know, Jesus to me is everything. He's the reason I'm alive. He's the reason that I want to live. He's the reason that I want to do things. He's the reason I'm happy all the time. He's the reason that I got this girl. And, uh, yeah. You know, for me, I've shared this on my blog several times, just, you know, my personal testimony. I wasn't raised Christian. Obviously, a lot of you guys know that. For me, it was sort of like a personal journey that I went on, just like he said, you know, during college years. At the time, I was going through a really hard breakup, and I started questioning everything from my life to my faith to sort of everything. Um, I've been praying since I was literally eight years old, um, but I never knew who I was praying to. So when I hit a period in my life when I felt like so unhappy, um, usually a breakup does that to you, I started questioning that and wondering like, you know, is God out there? And I literally prayed one night and I said, okay, God, whoever you are, like, I don't know who, who you are, just reveal yourself to me in my dreams because for me, my dreams have just been so powerful throughout my life. I feel like sort of like a spiritual gift that I have through connecting with my dreams. So I asked God, I was like, you know what, I don't know who you are. Just kind of reveal yourself. Is that even a silly question? Literally that night, I kid you not, I had a dream that I was in a church and I was worshiping Jesus. And I woke up that next morning feeling this crazy 
spiritual feeling of like, did that really just happen? Like at the time I didn't even know what worshiping meant. Like I saw a vision in my dream that I didn't even know what it was. So ever since then, I, you know, I, I quickly started pursuing that vision and just wanting to get to know this Jesus guy. And today I've been a Christian for, you know, three years now. And God is literally at the center of every single thing that I do and my career and everything. It comes after that. And I feel so incredibly blessed that he came into my life. He's my gift. And I feel so incredibly blessed that God is at the center of our relationship and that we are really proud of that and very vocal. Being out here in LA and in this industry, sometimes it's tough and we see that people really just, you know, don't talk about it. And so we really appreciate you asking us that question because we're able to sort of share our little testimonies with you guys and we're proud of it and we love God. What is one thing that annoys you. You know, I don't like doing this because it's leading me to the doghouse. Do it. It's like a, it's like the golden, like it's the yellow brick road that leads to the doghouse. I'm not gonna be offended. Trust me. There's nothing you can say that's gonna offend me. So just try me. I'll go first. I just have one. He cracks his toes, and we're like watching movies, and I just hear this cracking noise. It's like literally somebody that can go like this with their toes, and it cracks. And it like makes me feel, ah! I don't know if you guys heard that. It literally makes me want to cringe. And I tell him, I'm like, stop it, babe, right now. And you don't stop. But other than that. Here's one thing that annoys me about Cezanne. She'll create what's known as a Dutch oven when we're cuddling underneath the blanket. And her farts don't have a sound. And so sometimes when she lifts up the blanket, I get hit right in the face with three hours worth of doo-doo smell. You know what? why it bothers me? Not that I don't fart or anything, because I certainly do. Let's just be honest, we all do. Especially when you eat broccoli. Wait. She doesn't tell me. And then she just laughs and she fans <laughs> it, like fanning it in my face. Okay, well, do you have a question? Your question. I have a question for everybody out there. No, for uh, me. Oh. Um, well, we can both answer. Okay. If it came down to it, and you had to pick... Oh, God. Me or Ryan Gosling? Who would you pick? What kind of a question is that? Just gotta know. That is so dumb. Just gotta know. Hands down, I would choose you. That's it. I'm done. Uh, done? What did you think I was gonna say? <laughs> you know, it actually wasn't very long ago. It wasn't too long ago. I love you. Just a little cheap. <laughs>